Rick Shaw here on the 15th of February, 2023. And I had something go on this morning. I, I saw a real nice article that some family sent me about the thing going on in Ohio. And they were showing, showing about the uh, chemicals involved and what happens when you burn it. Uh, and there was a thing on there from a, a hazmat guy that said, no, when you, he's a trained hazmat dude. He said, you put, you put sand on there. But no, it, they decided they was gonna blow it up and the chemicals that it created. And I thought, oh, wow, that's some really good news. There were some things in there I didn't know. You know, there's, there's a little side, side uh, links that you could look at. I was looking at the links in there. And of course, there was some lady that lived an uh, uh, hour and a half away, how they were having trouble. Another lady, all of her chickens are gone. You know, now they're talking uh, contaminated, even though the EPCA is saying nothing's wrong. Well, I figured, okay, that's some good information. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on Facebook. Nope, <laughs> no. It was blocked, can't put it in comments, can't do anything. It's completely blocked, guys. They're hiding this stuff. They want you to be looking at balloons. They want you looking at the balloons. And then they're gonna do a big thing on spaceships and all this stuff. They want you to look the other way. They also don't want you to look at the pipeline that got blown up. They don't want you looking at any of that stuff, guys. They want you looking at this, this crap. Now, the thing that, that went on there in the Northeast, now you're seeing it in another one in South Carolina derailment, and then we got some truck with some sort of acid dumped in, and I believe it was Nevada. I can't put those up. You can't put them up. It, immediately, Facebook just comes up, nope, fake news. You know, <laughs> it's it's pretty uh, pretty crazy. None of this stuff is stopping when it comes to uh, stifling. If, if you think there's any kind of a free speech out on this stuff, and this is, this is like the new newspaper, you know, it's not like you get a paper newspaper anymore. You get your news from there. But see, they want you to get it from their sources. They don't want you getting any kind of news from, from uh, somebody that lives in the area. You know, they had a guy on there. Uh, he was a little bit away. I can't remember the name of the town, but it wasn't too far away. And he uh, was showing the clouds. He goes, these aren't storm clouds. This, this is from this thing that, uh, that they burned and it was just covering the sky. You know, and the people are having problems breathing. Morning. And uh, so it's not good, but you better keep your eye on the balloons. You better keep watching those, you know. So I don't know. I, I, that's that stuff with these balloons to me. It just seems absolutely ridiculous, you know. And then I, I did see some stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff I try to put on there, uh, on Facebook. They'll put a cover over it or just completely block it. They're, they're blocking a lot of stuff. One of them I tried to put up. The reason I mentioned it today is because this has been happening to me quite often now. But uh, there was a thing on there that Norway was involved with, you know, Unky Sam. Morning. And uh, I didn't, you know, I was unaware of that, you know, just so they could sell their fuel. And uh, that was interesting to me. So I put it up. Nope, sorry, uh -uh, can't do it. <laughs> This, this stuff is, it's, it's just, uh, the censorship going on, guys, is just ridiculous. I mean, it, it's getting uh, so blatant. And, you know, you start looking at these Schwabies and these things. I, I haven't, I, I don't watch the Stupid Bowl. It doesn't concern me at all. I could care less about those guys, any of them, or any, any of these major sports teams. I don't watch any of them. I like to watch golf, UFC, but, uh, they're halftime. They got, you know, it looks like rituals. I didn't see the halftime show. I just saw pictures of it and the way they're dressed and all this. And uh, it just seemed really, really odd to me. Now you got all these people wearing these red boots, these big, ridiculous, you know, red boots. I, I don't, I, I don't get a lot of it. Then I watched a, a fight here the other day, a UFC fight. 
and it's supposed to be these two chicks. One of them was the champion. You should have seen the big shoulders on this one and the big square jaw and the heavy brow. I'm looking at that going, you know, even if you squint, don't look at the face. It was a dude. <laughs> it was a stinking dude. And then the other one that was fighting that one just immediately. No, that's a dude. 100%. Uh, so, what's the point? If they're going to be two dudes rumbling, let them rumble as dudes. Why do they got to say they're, they're chicks? Neither one of them had any, any breasts to speak of. You know, it just, it's just so odd to me that, you know, they're trying to make this uh, mainstream and they just keep shoving it in your face, the stuff they're doing with these little kids, all the stuff they're pushing. Uh, somebody sent me a thing on, on one of the, uh, it was like a Disney cartoon. I'm watching this going, what the heck? You know, and parents aren't looking at this stuff. The stuff that these kids are seeing on tablets and on the computer, I don't think parents are looking at it because I don't, I don't believe they would have let their kids look at it. I'm to the point now with my kids, tablets, I'm not, they can't have it. There's too much crap on there that could be detrimental and they're looking at it in a minute. Plus their brain's going zombie anyway. You know, we got that thing so they could learn you know, as a, as a teaching aid, and it didn't turn into that. So sorry, it's gone. And they're gonna, you know, I know they, they oh, I wanna watch it. No, no. They wanna put on all this TikTok stuff. I don't really, I don't have TikTok, I don't watch it. But I watch uh, the dude called Odin's Men. And uh, <laughs> he he's one of them ones like uh, Mark Dice, you know. He watches it so we don't have to. And he puts excerpts of these people. <sighs> You know, this this can't be. This isn't mainstream. These are just it's it's isolated people out of I guess 330 million people in America. You know that these people are on there and they're they're pretty whacked out. But uh, you know these kids see it and it starts to get normalized. You know they don't they don't know. Oh, well, it's okay. I've had people here you know saying, oh well this this freak or something like that. Oh that's okay. You know, that's just their way. No, that's, there's something wrong with a lot of these, a lot of these folks that uh, twist themselves around to something that they're not, you know. But there's some, there's some pretty good ones, good channels that I do see. Uh, like I was watching uh, Dairy Sam. It's mostly about women. Then they had this Samuels guy. Somebody sent me one of those and I started watching it. Then I heard he, he croaked. He just recently croaked. But uh, I watched some of his stuff, mainly talking about these uh, modern women and how they want to be masculine and all this kind of stuff, you know. And how, why people are leaving the state. <laughs> they're just just getting away from the U.S. chicks because some of them are pretty messed up. But I, I still don't think it's everybody. It's I still believe it's a small percentage. But... I started off on this with this thing on Facebook why that was blocked and it's a regular news outlet to put it out it's a real shame uh, they don't want me putting this stuff so people can see it whatever happened you know we'll put it out there and you decide you know freedom freedom of speech can't be their freedom of speech it's just like this musk guy you know how he got on the, on this Twitter you know the guy who wants to put implants in your brain and stuff and then you know, now he's going to he's gonna block other people. I say you don't block anybody. If you've got freedom of speech, you don't block anybody. I don't care if they're them NA, you know, from back in the 30s and 40s. Those guys. Don't block them. Let them spew their crap. You know, and then you can decide for it. But do they think everybody's so feeble that if they hear something, they're going to turn into that? Maybe some of these young kids will because the school system that, that basically raised them, you know, they take the fathers out of the equation and rape them. Well, that happened to me. Good father. And then they, they turn you against your kids and you get kids that are raised up without a father in the home. And it's, it's crazy. There's, there's some stuff on that too. There's a lot of that getting, getting out, but... Uh, I don't know, guys. I, I tell anybody if they're going to get married, uh, and we, even with kids involved in anything, get a prenup. Get a prenup. Because why is it why is it right that uh, these women can divorce you, 
and then just take you just keep taking you for it seems like forever and just clean you out that's just not right and then when they do make promises on stuff like what happened to me okay we're gonna get this and that it was all in the paperwork well court, court won't help you you know they, they will not help you at all the guy they'll help the woman boy you're you're late on one one little thing and the federales are going to come and toss your ass in jail but when the woman doesn't keep her into the bargain they do nothing they absolutely do nothing even if you get a lawyer you know i don't get it you know it's just just the way they set it up but uh that's me on my little rant today but uh i'm real bummed about uh that thing if anybody uh wants to see the article i had uh hit me on messenger and i'll see if i can put a link i haven't tried it on messenger i'll put a link in messenger and uh send it to you that way and maybe you guys can see if you can get it out i know i'm on the bottom of the feed on a lot of stuff they take so much of my stuff down same way with uh youtube you know they take they they got me way on the bottom of the feed uh they don't say i'm demonetized but they've never given me a dime. So in essence, I'm demonetized. You know, somebody at the live uh, last Sunday uh, sent some money and I said, no, no, don't send any money. Uh, I don't have a computer to turn that switch off for like super chat or whatever they call that. Don't send any of those guys. I don't get it anyway. Uh, I have the account here. I gave them all the stuff. They say the money sent out. My bank says they never got it. They say they sent it. So then I went ahead and um, I did a uh, I did a bank that I have in the states. Well, they won't take the Swift code. They want the Swift code, so I got the Swift code. Well, that didn't work. So I called them. I called the bank up and said, "Hey, guess what? This Swift code. They're saying it doesn't work." So I went ahead and I read it back to the lady. No, that's our Swift code. That's it. That's the code. Well, uh, AdSense won't accept it. They say it's not a Swift code, you know, but it, this happens a lot. Then the other thing that happened was uh, they wanted uh, an email. No, that's not a valid email. They, they do stuff like this. They're deliberately doing that so that you can't get this stuff put in. So effectively, they demonetize you without actually saying they did. So it's a bunch of crap, but uh, there's my little baby. She's taking a break from her little puppies. We got our nice uh, tricycle up and running. I'm so happy to have that thing going again. And there's our little babies. They all had something good to eat, so they're very sleepy. Look at these guys. Hi, babies. Hi, little babies. And they're such beautiful little pups. They're really getting out and running around. So, but I'm gonna let you go. Uh, don't forget to pray for each other and uh, pray for old Clay Walker. You know, they had a stroke. They had to put a uh, tubing in to feed him. Uh, he's having a lot of trouble. And uh, don't forget to pray for Doc. I think he's on the mend. He's a pretty tough old dude. Uh, I don't. I think he's going to come out of this all right. So, but keep him in your prayers, guys. And this is Rickshaw Out. Loud.